Hi there, this is Gerald Alexa from ProSite Tutorials where I talk about the five steps to a professional website. In this next video series, I'm going to talk about SEO, or you could also call it search engine optimization. Now, I know that initially, if you're starting out, this is something that might be a bit hard for you to understand what I'm initially talking about, but just stick over there and you will see that throughout this video series, everything will turn easier and easier for you to understand. Anyway, what exactly is SEO? Why do you need it? Well, SEO consists on the process of you optimizing your website so you can have better results on the search engines and for that reason receive more free traffic coming from them. Because when it comes to having a website, traffic is vital. It's the most important part when it comes to having a website because you might have a really good and professional looking website with fantastic content and even product, but if you don't have anyone going there, then it's really like it didn't exist. And it's really frustrating when it comes to that. So. SEO is just another strategy for you to eventually start getting traffic to your website. And also SEO, getting traffic from the search engines, is more a long-term investment on your website because you might apply the strategies that I talked throughout this video series now on your website and it might take several months until we start seeing the results. Usually if you are starting a new website, this is typically between three to four months until you start seeing some results and the result is typically a few people coming from Google and so on. So the reason why you want to do SEO is really about getting traffic and also I consider the traffic that comes from the search engines possibly one of the best traffics that you can get out there because typically it's highly, highly targeted traffic that you get from the search engine especially when you know how to choose well the keywords for your website pages. So highly targeted traffic is really people that are interested on the content that you have in your website and very probably purchasing whatever you have there because selling on the internet is not exactly hard but getting traffic is really the hard part. Once you have good content, you have a good looking website, you, you have uh, a few uh, good products over there and you know how to bring traffic, then I'm pretty certain that you will start selling on the internet. But getting traffic is really the hard part and it takes some persistence and also some patience until you start seeing the results uh, from the strategies that I mentioned throughout this video. Okay, so in this video I'm going to just talk about the very basics of SEO so you can just get a better idea of what exactly is this, why uh, you actually need to rank your website. First, let's talk about what exactly is a keyword. Keyword is anything that someone goes to, to Google search box and is trying to find for. This could be how to make a WordPress website, that would be a keyword. Uh, how, uh, how to eat chocolate, I guess nobody actually goes and tries to, to find that, but let's just imagine someone wants to, to find out the best way to eat chocolate. Uh, that would be another keyword. So let's just write over here apples and oranges. This over here is exactly what we refer as a keyword. Anything that someone goes to the internet and they write over here on the search uh, box is considered a keyword. And this is really important for you to notice. So as you can see, once I write over here apples and oranges, you can see that a selection of 10 pages pop out. Basically what you are trying to accomplish when you are doing your SEO on your website is reaching this first page that appears in any particular uh, keyword for, for any particular keyword phrase. So basically what you are trying to accomplish is when someone writes a specific keyword that belongs to one of your website pages, you your website appears on this listing on the first page of Google in this case. Because this first page is really the one that receives the most traffic, especially this first three positions that you can see over here, this first, uh, this first three uh, positions that you can see over here, this websites over here are the ones that receive the most traffic from them all. So what you're trying to accomplish is really tr trying to reach the first page from Google, 
for a particular keyword and also if possible reach this first three positions especially the first one because once someone actually searches for apples and oranges then very probably they will go to this first website over here and this is the one that receives the most traffic from them all on this listing because quite honestly how many times you go to the second page on Google or even to the third page it's really rare for anyone to go over here so your efforts when it comes to SEO is really getting to the first page on Google it's also important to notice that every single page on your website can rank for one keyword or more keywords because sometimes people have this idea that website can is basically just uh, just a unique thing just one thing that can only rank for one keyword no every single page on your website can rank for a specific keyword or more keywords and as you can see that once someone writes apples and oranges you can see that relevant websites appear and why exactly does this websites appear over here or how exactly does Google know that this websites are related to apples and oranges they know that because they have relevant keywords first on their meta title which is this first line that appears over here this is what we call a meta title and this is one of the the first places that you should always insert your main keyword is on your meta title because this is where Google gives the most value to your keywords it's on the meta title as you can see apples and oranges and you can see once again on the URL for this website you can see that the extension that they had it is about apples and oranges and also you can see that on the key on the description also appears but the most relevant parts that you should always insert your keywords is really on your meta title this first line over here and also on the URL for your website and later on I'm going to explain how you can do that so don't worry I'm just trying to explain the basics when it comes to inserting the keywords Google knows that this website is about apples and oranges because they placed apples or and oranges on their meta title on their URL and also throughout their content and that's exactly how they know that this website is relevant to apples and oranges and you can see that once again it appears on the description well when it comes to inserting keywords on the description for one particular page of your website it's no longer so important as it once was nowadays uh, Google doesn't give so much importance to that but the reason why you want to insert on description is because as you can see it appears on bold and this makes your website more attractive to anyone searching for apples and oranges you can see that it's far more attractive than another page that appears below which doesn't have on description the main keyword that this person is searching for and also it's really important for you to notice that not every single keyword is created uh, equally by this I mean that specific keywords are more searched on Google than others for example the broader the keyword is apples and oranges let's say that I only want to search for apples apple is a broader term so it certainly will have more traffic than apples and, and oranges because more people are searching actually just for apples or anything that has apples between this the what they are searching for than apples and oranges so the more broader the term is the more people it has and also this is important to notice because typically a keyword that has a lot of traffic also means that is more competitive not always is the case but typically the more broader the keyword the more traffic it has also the more competitive it gets and what I mean about competition is on this listing you have websites that are really really very influential on the internet these are websites that many times have thousands and thousands of pages they they have thousands of websites linking to him linking to them uh, they have a lot of marketing they really are websites that Google trust a lot for example you can see that Wikipedia is a really good example of a website that has 
really a lot of influence influence on the internet. So basically what I'm saying is this website, Wikipedia, can easily rank for apples and oranges. But if you started a new website that Google doesn't trust your new website, they don't know your website, and your website really doesn't have any kind of influence on the internet because it's something that will gain eventually throughout time and throughout your content, depending on the content that you write and so on. Also, depending on the backlinks that you have uh, pointing to your website, the more influence your website has, the more easily can rank for more competitive websites. But when you start a new website, it doesn't have any influence on the internet. That means that you certainly, certainly cannot rank your website for a term like apples. And why exactly would you even want to rank your website for a term like apples? Because very probably someone who is searching for apples, I mean, they certainly aren't looking to purchase anything. Only if they are actually trying to find computers belonging to Apple. Besides that, they aren't looking to purchase anything. So it's really important for you first, and this is our, our all things that I'm going to explain more in detail later on, but I just want you to get the basics. First, it's really important for you to find a keyword that has lower competition. It may have some competition. That means that you have some websites there that have some quality. But you, the less competition that you have, the better. Also, you want to find a keyword that is actually something that people are searching because they want to buy something or they are actually trying to resolve an issue that they have. For example, how to make a website. Someone who is really interested on how to make a website and they search for that and if they find a website where they explain that they need to get a web host and so on, very probably they will purchase the they will actually purchase from that company that offers web hosting. That means that person who is promoting that web host will get some commission from it. So it's really important for you to find a keyword that has few competition but also that is something that is related to your website and also something that usually something that resolves an issue is also a good keyword um, for you to actually sell something that may actually resolve that issue that person is trying to solve or something that or also some pages where uh, some keywords where you mention uh, uh, best prices about a specific uh, product and so on that might also be a good keyword all things that I later on will talk more exactly. I will explain how you can actually see if a keyword is competitive or not. But don't worry now. I just want you to get a better idea of what exactly I'm talking about. So let's go just once again to apples and oranges because I want to show you just one last part. So what happens is Google and also other search engines, it's not humans that actually go to each website on the internet. I mean, there are millions of websites out there always constantly every single day a new website is popping out I mean it would take basically a lot of people to go to each website and see if that website is related to apples and oranges or whatever so it's not people that do that what do what actually does that is robots these are robots that go throughout the the internet they find websites and they see the keywords that that page has and based on that keywords they know that that website is relevant to apples and oranges and also depending on the influence that website has they will rank it specifically where it uh, it actually should be on their uh, search engine so once I click over here you can see that apples and oranges appears immediately over here on the first title and also throughout the content and basically what happens is the robots that Google sends over here to this website they will see on the meta title appearing apples and oranges also on the URL also throughout the, the titles also throughout the content certainly it's mentioned several times apples and oranges and they know that this page is relevant to apples and oranges and that's really the importance of keywords one website can rank for one keyword or more keywords as I mentioned and I really want you to understand that Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you enjoy. And in my next video, I'm going to start talking about how you can actually see your, your website for the search engines. So stay there and stay tuned with ProSite Tutorials and see ya. Yeah.